Side ops One of the list job updated. Received concerns me. Mission list There's updated. There's a PS commander who's been talking big about getting into the nuclear arms trade. This could be connected to that yellow cake. And there's another contract I'd like you to handle. It's a wet job, but we need to divert Cypher's attention. Check the mission list for the details. Heading to Mother Base. member who tried to dress her, breathing through tubes. Other than that, she's completely cooperative. She understands English. She never speaks, sweats, or breathes. What? Well, not with lungs, at least. She breathes through her skin. Clothing would suffocate her. Showers are okay, but she can't be submerged. What's wrong? She's drinking through her skin. She's okay? She's okay. She just can't move when she's taking in water. Look. eating the things since she got here. She doesn't eat either? Never. It's photosynthesis. Photosynthesis? That's the verdict from the medical staff? No. The jury's still out. It's the only explanation for what we've seen. The Gru had a man with that ability in its Cobra unit. Now, we don't think she's contagious, but some of the staff... Can't stomach her. It's starting to affect morale. Can't you send her on a mission? By herself? No. But as you know, she does have skill. Why not take her out on one of your missions? She seems to like you. Of course, only if you think she'll be useful. Next time you go out, you keep her in mind. Weather surveillance indicates turbulence out there. Try not to get knocked out of the sky. Got it. Where does she think she's going? You wanna head out with the boss? That'll be the day. I don't see a problem with it, so long as she's with you. She's a crack shot, a damn fine scout. Well suited for a clandestine op. Which is more than I can say for the others. There's nothing damn fine about this... thing. Here. Hey. Blades. Wait a minute, that thing cost a lot of money.
can see each individual blade. And a depth perception. One in. This is ridiculous. She doesn't talk. How could you possibly stay in communication? Right. I like working solo anyway. Assignment. Eliminate the commander of Rogue Coyote, one of the PFs operating in Africa. The target is simply the Major to his men. That's his rank from his army days. Instead of your typical boots on the ground work, he's more of a job broker and a recruiter. And apparently he also runs a little espionage operation on the side. Which could explain why he's picked up a long list of enemies. I don't like getting involved in a PF pissing match any more than you do. There's another reason we took this job. Recently, this guy's been talking about dealing in nuclear arms. Think back to the shipment that Cypher was having ZRS transport. If we put the squeeze on this Major, we might come out of it with some new intel on Cypher. Mission accepted. The mission objective is to eliminate the PF commander they call the Major. One of the major subordinates working undercover with the CFA is due to make contact with him. Check his current location on your iDroid. Follow him, and he should lead you right to the major. Naturally, the main compound is copper. There's also a small amount of cobalt. Nothing unusual so far. Southern Zaire is a well-known copper belt. However, in addition to these, we also detected a trace amount of uranium. The content percentage, though, is too low for nuclear development. It most likely came from Shinkalobwe mine. That's where the uranium in that area comes from. The mine's closed, as all the high-purity uranium ore dried up a long time ago. But you could probably still find it there in small quantities. That said, there are plenty of other uranium mines that are in operation, like in Niger, Namibia, South Africa. Why go to an abandoned mine to scrape up whatever's left and ship it out in mass quantities without refining it? They were transporting that yellow cake too, which would suggest they have the technology to refine uranium. Anyway, that about sums it up. Unfortunately, the analysis of that yellow cake is taking a little longer. I'll let you know when it's done. Detected. The map has analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Is that him? And the map has been that updated. Looks like the target. The map has been updated. on the target, not even a predicted field of movement. All we have to go on is this meeting with his subordinate. Remember, this guy will call the meeting off if he thinks he's being tailed. You've got to do everything you can to stay out of sight. Hey! Go back!
uranium, but the rest being impurities, various metals as well as traces of organic matter. What's interesting is the composition of these impurities. When we check them against the impurities found... Boss, follow that man and... Well, I guess there's no point now. Meaning they went to the trouble of mining two sources of uranium, then transported them together in different states. Another thing. We detected a very thin layer of highly enriched uranium in the middle of the yellow cake. Now that is very interesting. It may not be a lot, but it points to the existence of uranium enriching technology. After all, yellow cake can't naturally produce highly enriched uranium. If they could master it, they'd be just one step away from a gun barrel type nuclear bomb. But uranium enrichment requires technology and a large scale facility. If that kind of place existed in Zaire, the Soviet Union wouldn't sit idly by. And there's another question. Where were they transporting the yellow cake and malachite uranium? The first place that comes to mind is South Africa. The government was supposed to have abandoned nuclear weapons development after caving to international pressure. But rumors persist that it's continued in secret. Plus, ZRS were escorting the truck, and they're based out of South Africa. And then South Africa does have an abandoned test site. If Cypher's involved with nuclear development in South Africa. But how would that fit with their weapon to surpass Metal Gear? We need more information. Sheikha Lobwe. There's a name I haven't heard in a while. The U.S. bought a lot of uranium from Sheikha Lobwe mine during World War II for the Manhattan Project. They even sent a squad to the Roger. ...to reopen the mine after it was flooded. That's how good its uranium must have been. With that, the world's first nuclear test was a success. Shikolobwe uranium might have been used in the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs, too. Just hearing its name is like seeing all the phantoms of the war rise up to haunt us. But all the uranium's dried up, and the mine's been closed for years. So someone reopened it. Right. Zero Risk Security seized control of the area and were forcing locals to work in it. And the Zairean government was getting a slice of what they took in exchange for looking the other way. Mobutu has to finance Please his taste somehow. Mission. He'll gladly sell the rights to some old mine. The question is, why would Zero Risk Security do this kind of thing? Or rather, why were their employer, Cypher, interested in an abandoned mine? Maybe getting trace amounts of uranium, yet to the naked eye it appears to be ordinary malachite. Meaning security would be lax. Not a very efficient way of obtaining it, but easier to move. But how would they enrich it at its destination? Did the yellow cake really have a layer of highly enriched uranium in it? Having trouble believing it? No. If they say it's real, then it's real. In which case, they might have some enrichment method that we don't know about. And this was to test it out. It's possible. And that would mean it's almost complete. Attack run and we'll stand by at LZ. This is Pequot! On station at LZ! 
exfiltrated hot right. zone. You're out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete. The Major spilled his guts all right. His nuclear arms business was just a rumor he was paid to spread around. He doesn't even know who's paying him. All his instructions came through a cutout. But how? Who else would be behind it but Cypher? And this nuclear arms trading is clearly connected to that yellow cake. He thought the same thing, which is why he tried to investigate ZRS himself. He said something else that caught my attention. That ZRS had tried to kill some old man. How did one old man get that kind of attention? Boss, about those walker gears spreading all over Africa, Huey's got an idea for a counter-weapon. Come on back to base. This. It's a variable, multi-legged tank. A spin-off of Metal Gear technology. Big fan of spin-offs, isn't he? I hear he borrowed from the Soviets in Costa Rica, too. The design allows for a lot of freedom in setups. It's based around a central core unit, so you can quickly reconfigure the hardware to suit any sort of mission parameters. What the good doctor is trying to say is that it's customizable. Naturally, it will raise the probability of success for standard missions. But it functions as an improved deterrent by increasing your preemptive strike capability against enemy elements. You just deploy it in a war zone, and its superior firepower puts the brakes on enemy attacks. Eventually, the whole war machine grinds to a halt. A true battle gear! Cause I'm having deja vu here. I don't like him any more than you. But we need this. You think it'll cut it in the field? Turning radius is better than any tanks. That's great for regional skirmishes. Tech like this is popping up all among the PFs. Best way to deal with them is to fight fire with fire. I'll await your instructions then, boss. So do we have your approval to commence development? Fine. Consider yourself off the chopping block, Doctor. Hard to believe how many of those bipedal weapons have popped up around Africa. When did that start? No more than six months ago. Didn't really hit me until I came here. They're not supposed to be any use yet. Emmerich says they were still doing the last round of fine-tuning. The doctor has no idea. His research has already hit the black market. Both sides of the Iron Curtain will have it by now. <sighs> Even so, they're spreading much too fast. Sure, the Walker gears can operate in any terrain. Their mobility's just as good in the jungle as it is in the desert. That would come in handy in a place like Africa. They are modules that can one day be used as nuclear weapon systems. And with that in mind, the numbers are way too large. There must be another reason they're so widespread. Like what? It's all about needs. To small-time outfits like most of these private forces, this product is a dream come true. Hell, it goes beyond PS. This is the ultimate weapon. The forbidden fruit. Commencing. For anyone with an enemy to fight and people to defend. A nuclear deterrent. Exactly. Sounds familiar, huh? PFs are all operating off your Please playbook. You created these times. But could this be the new weapon in Africa that Emmerich talked about? If it is, why is Cypher letting everyone and his brother get their hands on one? What comes next? Selling nuclear weapons in the open? Making them public property? Why don't they give that a try? Then the next war really will be fought with sticks. Right. The man we're dealing with isn't foolish enough to make a suicide pact with the world. So... What is Cypher really up to? Yeah, it's like a mini-
Zero risk security aren't as hardcore a military outfit compared to the other two PFs in this region. The company sends operators to conflict regions around the world, not just Africa. They have decades of combined experience. They're also based out of South Africa. Their headquarters is in Johannesburg. Roger. A lot of their work involves corporate security for South African companies, but a good number of their operators are retired South African military. So don't mistake them for a bunch of security guards. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. contract is to kill them all. They used to be with a platoon of Mbeli rebels, but then the Bhutto authorities captured them. There are two locations, the Bampevi plantation and the Kungenga mine. The client is none other than the general they served under. He wants them dead to keep them from talking. A commander murdering his former men. That's what this boils down to.